Hello, this is Stefan Norek from Conductor, and welcome to this video on how to use Kafka Streams with Apache Kafka and the integration with Conductor. So we are on the GitHub repository of Conductor called Kafka Streams Work Topology. So you can download the code directly as a zip or clone the GitHub repository. And once this is done, you have to open it with IntelliJ. And this is a Gradle project. So Gradle is just a way to specify the dependencies and build a project. So for me, I guess like Gradle because it's simple and clear to use and visualize. So we have two dependencies right here. One is for Kafka clients and one is for Kafka streams to be able to use Kafka streams as part of our application. This one is a logging dependency to see some logs. And finally, this one is to do a web server alongside our Kafka streams application. The real magic happens in the code. So this is the code that was taken from the Apache Kafka project uh, repository. So there is not, not many modifications happening here, but I will show you one modification that I've done as part of this project. So if we scroll down, we can see first of all that the input topic name is streams plain text inputs. So we will have to create it. And the output topic is streams word count output. So we will have to create both these topics in Conductor. Then we are setting up the application. So one thing that's important is the application ID config named streams word count because we will have to reuse it and you will see it as part of a consumer group and the Kafka streams uh, application in Conductor. The bootstrap server is how to connect to Kafka, so localhost 9092. And the rest, we can see that we're using some uh, serializer and deserializer to be strings in this case because we're counting uh, some words. Okay. Next, I will scroll down. This is how you build a topology in Kafka Stream. So this is not a coding course, so I don't want to linger too much on it, but you can check, like, check out the code on about how this is done to count words in Kafka Streams. The idea is that you take data from the source topic, you perform some computations, and then you output the data into the output topic. Okay? And then finally, we build our Kafka Stream application, we build our topology, and the topology is how your Kafka Streams does the different tasks within it. We print the topology describe into the console, and this is very important because we will use this in Conductor. We start our Kafka Streams application, and finally, we're going to also start a web server that will respond with the topology describe um, description as part of running it on port 8080. I will show you this again in a second within Conductor. And the reason we do so is that we can monitor our Kafka Streams application. So these are the modifications I've done around the web server and also printing out the topology onto the console. Now, before we run this application, we just have to first create our input and output topics. So I'm going to do this right now. So this is the input topic. And I'm going to go into Conductor and I'm going to create the input topic with three partitions. And I'm going to create the output topic. So streams, uh, word counts, outputs with three partitions as well. I create the topic and here we go. Both my topics are now created. So one thing we can do though, is we can start a consumer on top of this topic. So in this case, the key, the key is going to be string, but the value, if we look at the code, in terms of what we use for a deserializer, we use a long. So we need to set a long deserializer on our output topic. So I'm going to set this right now. So let's go and set up long in here. And we can start our consumer on top of our streams word count outputs. We can also start a producer on top of our uh, uh, topic. And so we want to send data into the streams plain text inputs, and we're going to send string as some text. Okay, so we are ready on the conductor side. Okay, what we're going to do now is that we're going to run the Kafka streams application. So let's go ahead and run this application by clicking on the run button which should build a project, start the Docker daemon, the Gradle daemon, and get started. So let's wait a second. And here we go, our application is now running. As you can see, there's lots of log happening right now. So you can check out the log, okay? But so the important part of it is that at the very, very top, the topology is being printed out, okay? And then our Kafka Streams application is starting right here. As you can see, there's a lot of information in here. But the important part is that it is started. So if we go back to Conductor one second, and we go into consumers, we can see that there's a streams word count consumer group that has been created, which corresponds to our Kafka streams application that is currently running. And if we look at it, well, that streams word count application is reading from three 
partition on the input topics. This new topic that I have to show you, which is an intermediate topic. And so if we go into topics right here and refresh, and I just type uh, streams just to filter, as we can see here, we have the streams plain text input and the streams word count output that were created by us. But our Kafka streams application did create a changelog topic and a repartition topic internally. And this is because Kafka streams will use some internal topics to function correctly. Okay, so now let's test whether or not this is working. So we're going to send data on our, uh, on our uh, producer. So we'll send hello world. And then after sending hello world, as we can see here, we get hello one and world one. So this is saying that the hello uh, word has been counted one time and the world one has been counted one time. What I'm going to do is also show this in a tabular view so that it is even clearer. So here we go. So we're uh, reading this topic and I'm going to read from the beginning just to get back to our old data. Okay, so we have world one and hello one. So if I say now, hello, Stefan, and click on send. Now, as you can see, Stefan has been counted one time and hello has now been counted two times and so on. So you can play around. So you're saying conductor is awesome. And then we send this and again, we'll get some information and hello conductor. Again, we'll start updating the counts. So as you can see, the stream word count application is working and internally it is using some internal topics to make it happen. So this is a cool little demo because this is showing how we can do real-time stream processing with Kafka Streams to count some words, but obviously you can do some way more advanced stuff. And so Kafka Streams is a whole library with a lot of things you can do. You can do window aggregation, data transformations, and so on. And here I'm just showing you a very, very, very small part of it, okay? So I'm going to stop uh, this producer, this consumer, and I'm going to close the producer as well. But we've seen how things work, okay? So now if we go to Kafka Streams, we can monitor our Kafka Streams application. And to do so, we need to import a topology. Now to import a topology, we need two things. We need the streams application ID. So this one is called streams word counts, which is suggested to us right now. And then we need to import a topology. So we have two ways of doing it. Either we copy and paste the result of topology describe, which is what is appearing, actually appearing at the very, very top of my log output. So if I go up in topologies, I can copy this entire thing right here and paste it here, and that would be good to go. Or the second method, which is even better, is to use a URL. And if we use a URL, the idea is that with this URL, we'll be able to monitor whether or not our Kafka Streams application is currently running. So I started a web server at localhost 8080 slash topology, click on get. This gives us the exact same output as before, and I will click on import. So now the application is imported, and as we can see, we have one application, one source, one sync, one internals, and one store. And it's green, meaning that the application is up and running and online. So if I click on it now, I'm able to see the kind of topics I have in my application. So I have the input topic, the output topic, and the internal repartition topic. We have a state store as well. We can do a data visualization. So this is going to take us to a, a different website. And this website is going to show you, I will show you right now what it is. So this website is going to show us the data visualization of our Kafka Streams application. So by taking the topology, this creates a sketch diagram of what the topology looks like. So when we have a very complicated Kafka Streams application, this makes a lot of sense to watch how it is being decomposed. Okay. And finally, access to the raw topology. So that's it for this short introduction to Kafka Streams. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next lecture.